Welcome to our next video of Selenium C# -sharp with Specflow series. And in this video, we are going to be talking about what is Lambda test and what are the benefits of running test on Lambda test, how to run single test on Lambda test, how to run parallel test on Lambda test platform, and how we can perform testing of locally hosted or privately hosted website on Lambda test platform. So all these days, we have been talking about how we can run Selenium with C# -sharp test on our local machine. But in this video, we are going to be fully focusing on running the same test that we developed all these days in our past three videos and running them on the Lambda test platform this time. So let's quickly jump into our existing test and then start modifying the code to run on the Lambda test platform. So as we know, in our existing test, we wrote this Selenium driver.cs file where it actually had the setup method which performed the browser initialization. And all these days, we were running the test either on a Firefox browser or on a Chrome browser that we specify over here. And based on that, the test is going to be picking up from this get browser options capability. But now if I want to run my test on a Mac operating system, I couldn't able to do that because this is a Windows operating system. And if I want to run the same test on a browser, which is not even installed within my machine, which is of different versions, then I couldn't be able to do that as well, because currently I can only have only one browser version installed within my machine. And if I want to use the higher version or the lower version, I need to either uninstall the browser and install the newer version or the older version, vice versa, which is kind of a pain and really very, very troublesome. In order to avoid these problem, Lambda test come up with a very great solution of over 2000 plus browser combinations. So how is that possible? So first thing is we need to connect our remote web driver instead of using the local host 444 slash WD slash hub, which is nothing but our local web driver to the Lambda test platform. So in order to do that, if we directly jump into the Lambda test platform, there is an option called as get started. So if we hit this get started, you can see it will show you all the different details that you really require to configure your test to run on the Lambda test platform. It has the language binding for Java, Node.js, Python, and Ruby, and soon the c -sharp language binding will also be added. But the idea of configuring is very, very simple. All you really require is basically the username to connect and the access key to connect with this Lambda test platform. So these are the details that you really require to connect with the Lambda test platform. So I'm just gonna use the exact two things, but just that in order for the coding to be more aligned, I'm just gonna call them as LT username and LT app key, something like that, which I'm going to be initializing directly within our constructor code over here. And these two variables are something that I need to be creating as well as a private member over here. And then we need to pass these value within our capabilities. So all these days we have not even used any of the additional capabilities for our test to run, but this time we are gonna be adding additional capabilities so that we can leverage the power of cross browser testing with different versions to perform cross browser and cross platform compatibility testing. So the first thing is we need to add three more parameters over here like operating system, versions, browser name, and build. So the browser name was the one which was existing, but these three are the new one that we really require for our test to be executed. And then we are gonna be replacing our test from the remote web driver to the remote web driver of the Lambda test with additional capabilities, which is gonna look something like this. As you can see, we are going to pass the capability with additional capabilities of the platform, which is nothing but the operating system that we are going to be passing in as a parameter, and then the version of the browser, and the name of the browser, and the build of the test that we're going to be executing, and then the user, which is nothing but the username, which is the LT username, and the access key, which is nothing but the app access key. So we need to pass all these details over here as an additional capability. And these additional capability changes based on the browser. For example, on the Safari and for the Microsoft Edge, the capability doesn't require the additional is global environment variable. Whereas for the Chrome, 
it does require and also for the firefox it does require so that's why we have two capabilities separated with an if condition over here and now that the capability is already and the next step is the connectivity with the lambda test using remote web driver so the connection string is going to look something like this so as you can see this particular code actually has got the remote web driver of uri of https lt username colon lt app key at hub.lambdatest.com slash wd slash hub pretty much exactly the same thing like selenium web driver but just that it is going to be connecting with the lambda test as you can see the domain over here and these details we can actually obtain from this code this is exactly the same code that i have copy pasted over here just for the simplicity purpose and you can see that all these capabilities are going to be exactly the same capabilities that I am passing in over here as well. So we have already passed all the capabilities for the Lambda test and we are also connecting with the Lambda test platform. So we don't really require the local driver to be connected. So we can just comment this particular piece of code. And the rest of the code remains the same. There is no change on our existing code. They all remain pretty much exactly the same. So with that, the whole code has been changed at least for the web driver side of thing but now because we have made the changes on the setup method we have passed three parameters we of course need to pass those three parameters on our code over here as well which we can do by changing our feature files as well a bit so if we go to the feature file over here you can see we have the browser browser versions and operating system and why not we can just include a build option which differentiate our code to be running the different builds as well and we're going to use the same thing over here let's call this as chrome build and we can go back to our step definition and instead of local this time we are going to be connecting with the lambda test platform and the code is going to look something like this and as you can see this is the same certain web driver and we're just passing different parameters from our data table that we are actually passing in the operating system the browser version the browser and the build that we really require to be passed in as a parameter for the setup method so we have passed all the required detail over here and now all we need to do is just to run the test and see how it actually works so in order to do that we are actually going to go to the text explorer and then we are going to be choosing the test that we are going to be executing so let's quickly do a build solution since we have changed the table structure here and we're going to run the test but before that if you go to the automation you could see that there are no tests available at the moment and now if i try to run the test and if we go to the automation tab once again you could see there is a new data already available automatically and it shows us the chrome build coming in and once we click this chrome build you could see that the test is actually starting to execute on lambda test platform very instantly and it also shows one of 10 instances are currently running and once i run this particular video option you could also see that it's going to show you the video of the test being executed so this way we can see a full video log of what happened while the test was executing and this is automatically happening because lambda test does all the magical options for us and the next step we are actually going to run the same test on cross browser with parallel execution which is an, another great way to extend lambda test in multiple different browsers so this time we're actually going to run the test on another build for example on the alpha builds for Chrome with Mac operating system and Chrome with Windows 10 operating system and we're going to do exactly the same thing for our non Chrome browser which is nothing but the Firefox browser over here and of course we really require the build information so we are going to pass the build information as well so once we have all these information the next thing is we're going to once again do a build solution and you can see that there are two different build name one is the stable build and another one is the alpha build on the Chrome. So we have two builds here and we're going to run both the test in parallel right now. And because we have already configured our test to run in parallel in our previous video, we can just select both the feature files. And then if you run the test, you could see both the tests are going to run in parallel. 
and if we go to the lambda test we get the option of the new two new test data coming in which is the stable and the alpha and if we select the stable you could see the firefox test is running and if we choose the alpha it also shows the chrome test which is running on windows as well as in the mac operating system so if i select any one of the test and if we go to the run button and as you can see the test is currently running but still if you could be able to see the videos you can see it's running on a mac operating system the same test and they're all running in parallel and you could see all the tests running over here as an instance with the number count so this is the power of lambda test to run test in both single as well as in parallel mode and this way we can really test our applications pretty faster with multiple combinations the last operation that we're going to be doing in this video is to show you the feature of tunneling with lambda test again tunneling is one of the great way to extend running the test of the application which is hosted on the local machine and then running the test on the lambda test platform instead of running the test of an application which is already hosted on a public domain something like this so all these days we have been testing our test on the public domain hosted application but this time we are going to be testing the application which is hosted on local machine so in order to do that we need to understand the concept of lambda test tunneling option so this configure tunneling options will help you to tunnel the test running on the local machine and make the application available just for lambda test platform this is a secure way of connecting or exposing your application to the lambda test platform so in order to do that first of all we need to download the binary shown in this particular link so once we download that it is going to be an exe file which we can just put on any one of the directory and then we can start copy pasting this particular command and then start running the tunneling for us we are just going to start doing the tunneling so we are going to open an application sample app and as you can see we already have the lt.exe which is nothing but the exe file required for running the lambda test tunneling options i'm just going to copy this command and paste it over here but just that this is going to be a lt.exe and we're going to hit enter and once we do that you could see that it is going to automatically download any update if it is required and it will also restart the binary for us and once we run this again you could see it is going to automatically start connecting by launching the tunneling option and then it will connect to the lambda test platform for us by this way we are connecting ourselves with the lambda test platform and finally i'm going to start our application which is going to be running within my local machine using the npx http server command so basically this is my http server which is going to be launching my application and it can be accessed using 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 and this is the application coming in and this is the same application that we were running on the public domain but just that this application is currently running within my local machine and now we're going to replace this driver.url to the local app that we just launched instead of the public domain and this is the only thing that we need to do and once this is available we can start running the test but just that we also need to tell our additional capability of the lambda test that this particular application is being tunneled from the lambda test tunneling so please accept this connection which we can do from the selenium driver as you can see over here so there is an additional capability called as tunnel option which will help us tunnel this particular test to be executed on the lambda test platform so this is the only change which i need to be doing within my code in order to tell the test that i am running my test of an application which is running on my local machine and this way the whole tunneling option is completely done and we could able to run the test and see how it actually works the only change just for the differentiation purpose which i'm going to make is to change the build from stable build to tunnel build or local build and i'm also going to change the local chrome build in order to differentiate our tests so let's quickly build the solution and if we run both the tests right now so you could see that it is going to start accessing the 
application which is currently hosted on my local machine and as you can see it is currently happening over there so lambda test is currently accessing that and if we go to the lambda test platform you could see there are new data is available and if i click that there are local builds and local chrome build running in which is actually running test of my local machine and we can directly able to access how they are actually running from the URL. So that is the only way we can differentiate. So if I click this Chrome on the Safari or the Windows, you could see the URL is going to be 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 of to do, which means it is currently tunneling my application of the local machine and it is running on the Lambda test platform. And this is the power of tunneling option on the Lambda test platform to run test from the application which is running within our local machine. So that's it. These are the great features of Lambda test and how we could run the Selenium C Sharp with SpecFlow code along with Lambda test platform for a single test, parallelly executable test and running the test of an application which is hosted in the local machine. In case you have any questions or you require any further information, you can chat with the team or you can also drop us an email at support at lambdatest.com. We're here to help and we'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our channel to stay on top of exciting features on your way. Happy testing!